you doing? Boopy. <laughs>she wanted to go to a vampire ball, which I've never been to one. I've always wanted to go. They seem super cool. I made two gowns and I filmed both of them. This first one is going to be her gown that I made for her, which was super bomb, let me just say. Okay. So we were going for this like Victorian-esque gown and I came up with this. It's a mixture between like Interview with the Vampire mixed with Alexander McQueen. And I really, really liked this Alexander McQueen gown because I love the boning that you can see. Um, it's like outlined with like this black trim. And then we also really like these super puffy sleeves from Al another Alexander McQueen gown because these are awesome. These are so cool. We really like that they were, you know, see-through and they're like huge. And then I also found this. And this is what I was kind of thinking for the applique. I was thinking of putting it like around like the neckline. And you'll see a little bit later that we kind of change a little bit of the design elements on the gown because she changed her mind a couple of times, which is totally normal. It happens all the time. Like when you see things, you know, in person, your ideas kind of change. And so once all that jazz is all figured out, we get to make a sample of our dress. to draft my skirt I'm trying to use my book for reference and somebody keeps using it as a freaking pillow yeah I need these directions especially this side god you're such a jerk so I feel like this pattern piece is a lot bigger than I anticipated and I think instead of making like one huge piece, I think. Probably have to make it in two pieces. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's the plan. I think what I'm going to do is divide this up by princess lines and side seams. So that way I'll have one piece for the center and then another panel for, I guess, starting at the princess line to the side seam. And I have two panels in the back for where the zipper goes. and I only did half a skirt because um, it's gonna be the same on both sides so there's no need to make a full circle skirt um, also I got this really crappy hoop skirt thing because we weren't gonna be making a petticoat to go under it this thing kept misshaping itself like the entire time so I probably won't be using this ever again at least not for something heavy so here's the top and it fits really really well and I think it looks super cool even like in muslin form and so I think I'm gonna have her try this on and then hopefully it fits and if it does fit then we can go on to make our real dress. Ooh, exciting! Probably one of my favorite things to do is shopping for fabrics. 
and I had to go to a few places because I couldn't quite find what I was looking for. Some of the stuff I found was kind of weird, but I ended up finding some pretty good choices, I think. was at one of the fabric stores I found this cotton voil wall and I really don't know what it's called but it's super super lightweight and sheer which I thought would be a really good alternative to using some kind of like acetate type of lining for the gown so I ended up looking online for a couple of alternatives because I wasn't really finding too many things in the store and I found this which is really similar to one of the fabrics I saw in the store and she liked it so it worked so, I've been trying to find an alternative to horsehair. If you don't know what horsehair is, horsehair is like a plastic thin braid. I'll try to put a picture. What? You probably have seen it. You just didn't realize like how the fabric does that whole swirly thing, but it's horsehair, the magic of horsehair. But anyway, it's plastic and I've really, really, really been trying to go for a more natural, bless you more like natural materials so I'm trying to stay away from a horse hair so I've been trying to find an alternative and I haven't been able to find one but I found this this is wool felt that comes in a tape what I'm going to be trying to test this is using this one as a horse hair because it's not it's not thin, like it holds its shape pretty well. It's kind of stiff, but at the same time, it's still, you know, it's still like movable. <laughs> well, my plan is, is to use this as horse hair on the bottom of my skirt, and hopefully that'll hold the shape. Uh, if you're not familiar how to use horse hair, a uh, quick little tutorial. Uh, basically, you'll take your horse hair and then you'll stick it right here on the edge of, you know, the edge hem of your, whatchamacallit, uh, skirt. And then you'll take this and then you'll sew a quarter of an inch right here at the edge. And then you'll be turning it like this. And then you'll turn it one more time. And you'll be, uh, either you can sew it right there to hold it, the top of it, or you can also um, hand stitch it. I'm probably going to hand stitch it because I don't want you to be able to see the other side, but oh my god, it's going to be, oh, it's going to take forever. Uh, it's going to suck. Okay, anyway, but <laughs> hopefully once I get it like this, it'll hold it, it'll, you know, it'll hold a good shape, like, like this, but better. So I thought this was going to be a lot more difficult to maneuver around the, like, you know, a curve. Hold on, let me just, like, figure this out. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? When it goes, like, around these curves, it actually squishes it, like, together pretty nicely. So you can see these little, like, puckers right here, but when you go through the machine... Oh my god, I'm doing this one-handed. <laughs> When it goes to the machine, like, it squishes in pretty nicely, so there's not, um, there's not that much puckering, which is pretty nice. And then on the other side, it's pretty focus. It's pretty, it's pretty nice looking. So, so far, so good. Okay, the gown is back on my form. And here's the front. Here's like before anything anything happens. So you can see the fabric just kind of like drapes. It's like kind of like blah. So this is the back of the gown after I have put in the wool felt. Okay, so this is after I put the wool felt. And you can see like this is what horse hair essentially does. It gives the dress this like swoopiness like the skirt has like a body now so it doesn't just 
sadly sag it actually has like this full roundness and this is what I was looking for this is exactly what I'm looking for the only thing I don't like is I don't really know how to manage this except maybe make the stitches a little bit looser I'm wondering if maybe hand stitching this would probably prevent this from happening I think I have an idea of what I want to do to combat this is freaking awesome oh my gosh I didn't think this thing was gonna work but I had hopes and I think it I think it paid off like this is perfect hold on if I can just like scoot back ow God, just hit my head <laughs> okay See how much nicer the skirt looks? Yeah, this, this is great. This is a really good start. Wow, good job, Jess. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just really quickly wanted to go over all of the damage that I did. <laughs> okay, so, oh my God. Weird, okay, this is actually a little bit darker than what it looks like. It's supposed to be like a wine color, but it's looking like, ferocious red on camera oh uh, anyway so I've got like a crap ton of this and this is gonna be like oh, sweet Jesus and so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna get this huge crap of tools that I also bought okay so what I'm going to do is take this tool and this is gonna go on top like this and then I'm gonna be layering another layer of tulle like this. And then what I'm thinking is for this top layer, I'm going to be putting all of my applique and my lace, and then this is just gonna be what's underneath. Oh, is there three layers? Oh, just kidding. Okay, it's only two layers. So it's gonna be something like that. So top layer is gonna have all my details on it, and then this, a uh, layer um God. this layer on the bottom of it is just going to be like just like loose it's just you know loose this is the lace that I ordered um I bought this to do the applique so what I'm going to be doing oh sorry <laughs> uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting all of this loveliness out and then I'm going to be putting this like um, on pieces and I'm probably going to be hand sewing each each one of these little things onto the bodice to make it look super like nice. So here is the lace that came in for her trim. This is going to be going at the very bottom of the dress. Um, is this the wrong side? Oh. Alright, okay, here's the right side. So it's got all these really, really nice detailing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Very Victorian. This is totally Victorian. So anyway, so I think I might have to hand sew this because I don't think the glue is going to look good. I'm worried it's going to like see through these little holes that are right here and you'll be able to see it. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really want to use fabric glue. I hate fabric glue. I have it as... Has anyone ever actually used fabric glue? It's the worst. I hate, hate, hate fabric glue. I don't know, maybe I'm just like really bad at using glue. <laughs> I don't know how you can suck at putting glue on, but I do. Oh, I wanna put this on something. I don't know what though. <sighs> maybe I can buy the, like, the remnants of it from her and then she'll let me put it on something. <laughs> just kidding. So stay tuned for part two and we're gonna put this sucker together oh my god it was so it was so heavy this was such a chore this is probably the biggest thing that I've actually like put together so yeah it was it was different but it came out wonderful so I will have that up hopefully like pretty soon but anyway yeah 